Richard, we've used this venue before to complain about the Florange Law and about giving more than one vote to longer term shareholders. But surely there is something to be said for the idea of supporting loyalty and forcing companies to have long term horizons. Absolutely. The so called Florange Law, the French law that's designed to reward loyalty by allowing double voting rights mm. if you hold the shares for more than two years is only one way of, of slicing it. We can get there much more easily, I would argue, by simply having a decent, coherent dividend policy mm. based on decent long-term returns. Old-fashioned, but yeah. nothing wrong with it. But surely dividends can't be the whole picture, right? A lot of companies have dividend payment schemes. Those companies get fiddled around by <laughs> the market, just sure. and maybe just as much as any yeah, other. Yeah, then you need a better approach to to get to the board of the company and hold it to account. Mm. And that that is one thing that this Florence law doesn't really deal with. So, mm. what we need to do is to have investors who can engage with a company board and say, "We don't like that remuneration." But it needs to be able to happen in a particular way. You need to have a sort of below the parapet, below the radar engagement, where, the, where an institutional investor can go in and say, to make sure you deliver those returns, you need to do this, this, and this. Mm. So institutional investors, I suppose, have a special role. Pension fund managers, big asset managers like Fidelity or BlackRock, you know, they have a special role to play here. They 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 do companies have companies have governance codes so mm. the, there's also something here and there's one in Japan called a stewardship code and that right. applies to investment institutions the problem is that investment institutions have very different horizons so you'll have a high frequency trader on the one hand right or a hedge fund with a particularly short term probably trader instinct. or or maybe perhaps more to the point a passive a huge passive investor, it doesn't screen for who, what the, the, the regulations or the, the code of conduct for a company. It just invests along with the index, so it doesn't care. So it seems like you're sort of shouting into the wind here, right, when the market in general is moving away from sort of concerted, careful, long-term stock picking by institutions and towards these other forms of investment. You've got, the, you've got the codes which apply more to a pension fund who has got long-term interest because he's got to match a liability with high returns. And so he's going to have a far greater incentive to apply a stewardship, to work to a stewardship code and keep on chiseling away at a board to hold it to returns. But I agree, mm. pushing against the sea doesn't always work. Yeah, and it seems like the Lex view then that we're coming to is one in which those few long-term investors have a special responsibility to sort of protect all investors in a way. Thanks, Richard.